We've talked a little bit about percents and part whole relationships, and we're going to continue that by talking about finding and using percentages. So our goal today is to interpret situations related to percent discounts to find percents, portions, and wholes. So I want you to take a moment to think about, and we're gonna look at some examples, of how stores or websites advertise discounts or prices in general. Right? How do you know if you're really getting a good deal? So as we look at some of these examples of sales, right, some tell you the discount that you're getting in percent, and others tell you the price that you're going to be paying. And there's actually another bit of a trend here. The ones that are telling the price are all grocery stores, but they're not actually telling you what percent off you're getting. So you could be paying like almost whole price because they're not telling you what that is or the percentage. Whereas retail stores or online websites will say things like 25% off or 50% off, but not actually post the price that you are paying. And so, you know, why they do it that way? I don't know, but it's interesting that it tends to be pretty, uh, pretty rigid like that. And it does, um, it makes a difference as you will see as we go through some examples. So some questions to think about. Right? How can we find the percentage of a whole? If we have the two parts that make a whole, how do we find a percent? And then how do we find the whole amount if we know the parts? Right. So we got our friend Marissa going to a store and she's looking at jeans. So this is obviously uh, either pre-COVID or in the future when we could go back to stores. And the jeans are marked for 40% off. So her favorite pair, or the one she finds, would cost $65 if there was no discount. So knowing that they're gonna be 40% off, she thinks the jeans are gonna be about $30. So is this reasonable? Well, on the one hand, 40% is less than half, and 30 is less than half of 65, so it fits. However, it's 40% off, which means that she's actually paying 60%. So that $30 is more indicative of you know, what she might get discounted from the price than it is of what she's actually paying. Right? We need to be careful with that to make sure that if it says 40% off, that's how much is getting taken away, not how much you're paying. Right? If something is 30% off, you're still paying 70%. So let's find out for sure how much these jeans are going to cost. So, made a number line similar to the one we had before. And just like we talked about, it, here's the discount, and then here is what she's paying. So we gotta fill this in, right? Our whole amount was $65. So we need to determine what 40% of 65 is. So we're gonna set up a proportion. I got my whole numbers on the bottom, right, that 100%. And then in this case, 65, since that was the original cost. And then 40% is the piece we're trying to find. So that corresponds with our unknown. We can go ahead and use our butterfly method to solve for x. We've done a lot of practice with this now, which is why I'm going a little quickly. 
If I'm going too fast, though, please let me know in a question or a comment of where I got an answer. When we go through that, we get that X is going to be $26. So again, that's the 40%. How can we find the 60%? Because that is how much she's paying for the jeans. It's this number right here. Well, we could set up another proportion or we can use subtraction and do 65 minus 26 because obviously if 26 represents 40%, the difference between those two is going to be our 60%. And that is 39. And so she's paying $39. How much is she saving? So we need to be careful with our question with the wording here and you've probably seen this on Alex as well here it wanted to know how much she's paying so it was asking for the 60 percent how much is she saving right well that's the discount so she saves 26 dollars by buying these jeans at 40 percent off all right we're going to look at an, one more example using some different information but we're still um, we're still at a store that is selling clothing. So Kirk sees a shirt on sale for thirty-seven fifty, and the original cost of the shirt was fifty dollars. So we want to determine what percent is the discount. Before we do that, we got to figure out what percent he's paying, because we know that the difference there is going to be what the discount is. So 37.5 out of 50 has to be equal to some percentage x over 100. Let me go through our butterfly method and then we get that x is 75%. Again, careful with our wording and what the question is asking. This is what the sale price was. Sale for $37.50. We paid 20 or 75%. Therefore, the percent of the discount is going to be the difference between 100 and 75, which is 25. So we know that this shirt is on sale for 25% off. So your homework is to find an item for sale, could be anything, um, whether you find that online or maybe in coupons that get mailed to you, whatever you want, determine the original price, the sale price, and the percent that is discounted. So whatever bit of information you're given, on the flyer or website, whatever, you will be able to use to find the other two parts. If you guys have questions, let me know in comments or in an email.